Allfelt seems to be calling in. Now, this puts me in an interesting quandary because I ask for anybody to call in, but I've also told Bill not to contact me directly. So, uh, and I don't know that it's Bill Schmalfelt. So I'm in a quandary. Becca, should I take the call from this person or not? I, um, hmm, I would say no uh, if you have any inkling that it may be someone that you've asked not to contact you. That, unfortunately, is the correct answer. But, um, yeah, I wish you had a way to, to screen the call um, because that, uh, that, would, that would be helpful. But... Um, it's not that I. It's not that I. It's not that I'm. Well, I'm, I think I'm going to risk it, Beg. Let's just see who this is. Okay. Hey, buddy, you there? Smallfelt, is that you? Yeah, it's me. How about you? Is that you? Yeah. Is this really Smallfelt? I'm sorry. Really, Bill? Yes, it is. I, yeah, I recognize your voice from the video now. Now, Bill, I've told you not to contact me, right? You asked me not to email you. But, if I may continue for just a moment, uh, it seems like you, and, and if I stutter, please forgive me, uh, it seems like you are unable to stop talking about me. But if I respond to you, that makes me a cyber stalker and uh uh, I'm sorry. It, 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 it's a word finding problem that goes on. You know what I'm trying to say. Sure. Would you like me to explain the difference? Uh, if you can. I, of course I can. It's real simple. I cannot tell you to stop talking about me. In the same way, you can't tell me to stop talking about you. So, enough. I didn't catch the last part of your last sentence, but I think I got the, I got the general gist of it. Um, okay. But here, here, here's my point. And I'm I'm, I'm, I'm going to mute you for a second, Bill, because I didn't finish making my point. And then after I'm done making my point, I will unmute you because I have no problem hearing what you have to say. But I'm going to make my point. We have a First Amendment right to talk about people. I have a First Amendment right to talk about you or Brett Kimberlin or Barack Obama or anything like that. Now, you don't have the legal right civilly to lie about people. That's considered defamation. And you don't have the legal right, for instance, to threaten people directly. However, short of that and a few other contingencies, you have the right, the, on the First Amendment, which I'm a big believer in, to talk about people. So what you don't have the right to do is to contact somebody repeatedly when they've told you not to contact them. That's legally harassment aside from just being rude. So I can go up and talk about you, but I don't email you, I don't phone you, I don't anything like that. Now, you chose to call in, and that's fine, nothing wrong with that. And if you did a show, you certainly never stopped talking about me, Bill, never at any point. And this is provable through months and months of your, of your writings. You continue to talk about me. And I've never tried to stop you from talking about me. You've lied about me. You've lied about me in a defamatory way. You've gone after my wife. You've gone after my kids. You've told outrageous lies about them. You've been insulting and vulgar. But guess what? You have the First Amendment right to do most of that. You don't have the right to lie, but that's a civil action. So now, Bill, I'm going to take you off mute. That's the difference between me talking about you, which is not cyber-stalking, and that's the difference between you contacting me after being told not to contact me. And hang on. All right, I'm unmuted now? Hey, you're unmuted now. Yeah, well, hey, actually, hey, uh, let me answer as much as I can there. Uh, what have I lied about? Lee, what specific lies have I told about you? When you called me a criminal today, maybe a crime of Lee, Lee, uh, now you're, you're going to let me answer uh, what you said. Raising money under false pretenses is a crime. Did you move? I'm not, I, I am not going to talk to you who's revealed my address. I'm not going to reveal a single solitary thing. I'm not about going to give your address. I just want to know, did you move? I'm a single story about where I live to you or anybody else. You have to tell I, me where you live. 
You just have to answer the question, did you move? You raised money to move. Did you move? Not going to answer the question. I don't question. know where you moved. I just want to know, did you move? I, I, did you hear that? Let's, let's go back to my question. You're breaking, up on me. You're breaking up on me. Have I been charged with crime? I, uh, not yet. But... <laughs> But so therefore, I, 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 you ask you ask me where you lied about me. You called me a criminal, a criminal, not an alleged criminal, not an accused criminal, a criminal. That is defamation, and it's a complete lie, Bill. And if the best you can do is you're saying that, oh, well, it's against the law, and you don't even know if I've moved or not. You don't even know I've broken the law, and you've not got any single prosecutor to take you seriously on anything you've ever done. You've charged me with multiple things. I'm going to ask you again. Can you name a single crime that I've been convicted of? One. Uh, convicted of? Am, am, am I unmuted now? Yeah, that's why I asked if you could hear. I think it tells you, but I, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. You're unmuted. Uh, uh, you asked if I could think of a single crime you've been convicted of, right? Yeah, let's talk with that. Well, have you ever been prosecuted for, uh, see, I, I, I haven't, I don't know. Have you ever been prosecuted for prostituting your wife? Okay, I'm going to put you back on mute. I, I, here's the thing. I'm not going to have you talk about my wife. If you called, you asked me where I said, you, you asked me, or you called me a liar. First off, what you just said is a complete lie, and this is why I'm about to bounce you off the show. You called me a criminal. You can't back it up. You're asking me if I've been convicted. You've committed defamation of character against me. You've called me a criminal. You didn't call me an alleged criminal, and this is why I said you are not a journalist. Furthermore, I am not going to let you talk about my wife because of the horrible, insulting lies you continue to read about her. I'm not going to have you do it. So I'm going to put you off mute for one more second. I'm going to try one more time, Bill. Can you name a crime? Can you, you're the one who made the statement that I'm a criminal. Can you name a crime that I've been charged with or convicted with? Can you name one? I'm unmuted now? Are you saying I'm un, I am unmuted? Uh -huh. Hello? You're unmuted, Bill. Can you name a crime I've been charged with or convicted with? Uh, I, I, again, excuse the, the fact that I have trouble with word finding. Uh, I'm just wondering. Let me let me please get, just give me give give me a second to get my thoughts together so I can answer your question. You called me a liar, but I have proof that you prostituted your wife. No, you don't. And now you're off the air. No, you don't. You don't have any proof of that whatsoever. 